Go. Am I the CP emoji? Yeah, whatever emoji you want to be. <laughs> Remember where we left you at the end of our first amazing Oscar-winning episode? Meh, let us refresh your memory. We left the cold Canadian winter, took three planes, drove to northern Florida, which turned out to be also very cold, took possession of our boat, and then we're told we had only two days to do all of our work. First, let me introduce you to the place where all the magic would happen. The yard as the Green Cove Springs Marina. The work yard is a place that allows people to work on their boats, outside or on the water. Sometimes for a very long time. Some try to rescue old sunken ships. Others intend to improve their current ones. Some just end up never leaving. One thing is sure, it is not easy to escape the many traps of the work yard. Whether it is the never-ending amount of work, the money hole it creates, the luxurious amenities, the wildlife you encounter. Hello. Say, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Yeah? And the awesome people you meet. Talking about the people, some are experts who will teach you a great deal. Others, not so much. Or ask me, how do you start the bag? <laughs> <laughs> Find a key switch. Well, they don't have a key switch. Oh, well, then look on the back if there's a motor hanging in there with a, right. a string on top. All this. <laughs> As for us, during the first two days, with the help of Hugo's parents, we scraped, painted, pulled, pushed, got dirty. Talk with ourselves. Tell me what happened to this boat. Too many things to tell you now. <laughs> Aligning the propeller shaft right now. Take some water. Or at least tried. Hello. I just scraped the whole boat. And then sand. Is that how it's it? J'ai sablé le bateau au complet. And I had to take off the cutlass bearing with my dad. It took two days. It included, you know, it should be a simple solution. Just take off the set screw, pull it out. You have to take the motor out, cut some motor cables out, remove some hoses, make a huge mess. And now we have to clean the mess, but we have to bring more things into the boat. Exactly. But the story, the story is that when you want to do something on the boat that should take an hour, it can take two days sometimes. That's why. That's why it's always more work than you can. That's why we're blue and tired. Then, we were put in the water, almost drowned but made it. No more leaks? <laughs> then guess what? We scraped, painted, pulled, pushed, cleaned, got dirty over and over again, fought against anything and everything, climbed, balanced, Sanded anything you could ever think of. Bought even more boat stuff. And worked in the messiest, smallest, and most uncomfortable places you could ever imagine. It's fun, because while being on the boat, I always get Hugo's best profile. It's like super nice and comfortable down here. It's like an all-inclusive resort. Have fun, Alexia. I'm taking a vacation. Yeah, right. <sighs> we even got a little tired. The days are really long when you're in New York. But we also found a way to celebrate Christmas. And New Year's Eve. <laughs> we also met some great people. So, what's your name? Hi, my name is Chris. Where are you from? I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. I am Franco. I was born in Binghamton, New York. 
And this is my cat Oliver. And this is my <laughs> boat breaking wind. Hi, he's Bruno. I'm from Dominica. Jody Smith, uh, currently Green Coast Springs Marina. Uh, before that, uh, Hickory, North Carolina. My name is Silvio. Um, German descent. Lived here in the States for almost all my life. And uh, always had the dream of sailing. I don't know where it came from. It just was there. So uh, somebody actually gave me a free sailboat. But in the sailing community, we know that that boats are never free. No, 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 no. <laughs> and what's the name of this one? Of, of the boat? Yeah. Uh, her name. Charo will let me speak. <laughs> so yeah, I bought a boat just before COVID and uh, then kind of got stuck here. So now instead of doing a minor all out and paint, I'm doing a total refit. So all new electronics, new solar panels, new autopilot, new radar, AIS, satellite phone, anchors, painting, top jobs, bottom jobs, rigging, woodwork. Yeah, the list seems like it's never ending, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Well, everybody always eventually leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them were not sure if they ever will leave, but eventually <laughs> everybody leaves. <laughs> I, uh, I've probably been working on her for five years, even though that you can't tell. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> but she was in a different location. She was basically in a parking lot of RVs before I brought her here. She's only been here at the boatyard for about a year. Okay. Uh, my name's boat is called Seafari Adventure. And why is it called like that? Uh, because combination, it's, um, I don't know the exact word, but it merges the words for it, but it's uh, part Seafari, like a safari from South Africa, you know, where I'm from. So it's a Seafari and adventure, because I feel like it'd be more about adventure, you know? 100%, yeah. I agree. Uh, the boat's name is Tethys, and a little history on Tethys. Uh, some might recognize the name as being a moon from Saturn, uh, but she was a Greek goddess of fresh water. Um, when the Mediterranean was closed and was a fresh body of water, she was the goddess. So great that we were a little sad when we had to leave. We're changing the marina. There's no more space here for us. They're kicking us out. Yes. But on the way, we found Eve. Yves, est-ce que tu peux m'expliquer ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? C'est quoi ton projet? Je suis en train d'installer des pompes pour mettre de l'eau salée. Uh -huh. And Suvda. It's very practical to have friend contortionists to work on the boat. Two vagrants from Orlando we lured with stories of beautiful islands and blue water. In exchange for a lot of rum, we got them to embark on our sinking ship. Good morning. Anybody cold in here? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> then we did some more pulling, scratching, hammering, tight spacing, sanding, buying new things, and dirtying, swearing, diving in freezing water to get drop things. Fantastico. Did your boss shrink back into your body? Yes. Are those a wonder? This is what we're gonna see what it looks like. Until the work was done. Oh, was it? Our goal was to leave within 10 days. Are we going to make it? What does Forevermore 2.0 look like? Is it pirate worthy? Like with real explications and stuff this There's time? Forevermore 1.2. Last year I spent three weeks uh, getting the boat from a weekend boat into a cruiser boat so we can live on it for three and a half months. Let's see, uh, a couple of weeks might be all very different into Forevermore 2.0. All in our upcoming episodes of Pirate Life Adventures. Oh, by the way, if you want to see more, you can always check my Instagram. Ta-da! Hugo doesn't even have any because he's ancient. Bye!